Susan, I appreciate it. Uh, here's the story. I'm a practicing lawyer. I'm now entering my fifth decade of practice. Pretty soon I'm going to be good at it. And I become more and more appalled by what the Roberts Supreme Court is doing, what they've already done, what it appears they're going to do, particularly now that there's a six to three majority. I've called the course, as you can see, from bad to worse, because I want to explore what this court is doing. It's a court that's gutted voting rights, campaign spending rights, women's rights, workers' rights, consumer rights, corporations versus little guy. The corporations always win. Uh, this is a court because Congress now is absolutely gridlocked that is making policy for America. It has no problem overturning congressional laws with great ease. It seems to think it can legislate better than Congress. And so I want to take a closer look at it and figure out what it's done and what it's going to do. To do that, I have no illusions. I'm an amateur. I spend my time doing labor and employment law. So I've asked experts to come in, brought together each week a different expert to talk about this court. We're going to start with Adam Cohn, who wrote Supreme Inequality. That, oh, can't see the book. Let me see if I can do it. Eh, no, because of the background. It's called Supreme Inequality, the Supreme Court's 50-year battle for a more unjust America. Then we'll turn to Dean Erwin Chemerinsky in the second week. You know Dean Chemerinsky is, I think, our outstanding, uh, from my point of view, Supreme Court scholar in academia today. He'll be talking about the religion clauses in the First Amendment. We'll then turn to Professor Bertrand Ross from Berkeley, talking about racial justice in this court. And in the fourth week, we'll turn to two journalists, Cynthia Gorney and Emily Bazelon. You may recognize the names. They'll be talking about women's rights, probably women's reproductive rights and what this court has done and may yet do. Then we'll ask Catherine Fisk, a professor again from Berkeley, to talk about workers' rights, workplace rights in this court. Then we'll turn to the Dean of the Immigration Law Practice. His name is Ira Kurzban. He's also a Berkeley alum. He practices in Miami. He does a lot of the immigration cases that appear before the U.S. Supreme Court as well as throughout the country to talk about what this court has done to immigrants. And then finally, we'll close with James Wheaton, the founder of the First Amendment Project. We'll be talking about this court and the way they perceive and use the First Amendment no longer as a defensive weapon, but as a sword. Instead of a shield to protect free speech, they use it as a sword effectively to cut off people's free speech. I hope by the time we close the course, we'll all know a little bit more about it. I put up a syllabus with some considerable more detail about each of the people who will be speaking, as well as a reading list. So each week, if you care to, you can read a different book, usually by the person who's speaking, as well as by other experts. That's Susan's what we plan to do. I hope I'll see a lot of you. It's, it's, uh, it's going to be an interesting roller coaster ride, I think. Thanks very much.